Hello and uh, welcome to a quick explanation video. Um, so you may have recently noticed I changed my channel name from British Gaming Atheist to uh, the Nintendo Switch Brit, and that's for a couple of reasons. Firstly, British Gaming Atheist was always meant to be a temporary placeholder until I thought of something better. Heck, it wasn't even the first placeholder, the placeholder before it was just uh, Gaming Atheist. But then I found out there was another Gaming Atheist channel that actually got in a lot of trouble. So I was like, oh, I better um, change the name quickly just to like distance myself from that other channel. Um, and it, uh, uh, so it was always, it was never meant to be permanent. Also, Recently, there's this, there's been this like Christian channel that's just like been commenting every now and then on uh, my, on the videos like, are you good enough to get, go into heaven? And I want to, what, what, I've, I had a little bit of a chuckle because the last time they did it, it was on Doom and it's like, and I just thought to myself, well if slaying the hordes of hell isn't good enough for God, then nothing is. Um, but yeah. It was never meant to be permanent, and it, I never really kind of liked it because my, it doesn't really suit my channel that well. Um, because while I do make some um, political videos uh, um, from time to time when I feel like it, when I have something to say, uh, then uh, yeah. Now, uh, it, you know, it does come in that it, uh, the atheist part does factor in, but it's just like, there's really no reason for me to have it there. Um, yeah, so, um, I just prefer this a bit better because, um, I'm not becoming like exclusively Switch ch channel, like, um, I will still do like, um, my opinion, if I have something to say on like current political events, then I will make a video on that. Um, uh, but I don't usually do that because I am on the younger end only. Well, I'm actually turning 21 in, on, in October, so yeah, get ready for that birthday live stream. But um, because of my youth, I, d I don't think a lot of people will take me super seriously when I talk about like political events and my opinions on them. I was like, oh, it's just a dumb kid who doesn't know how the world works. And while I will say I do have a slightly more like simplified version of reality, like I think I think some things are or should be simpler than they actually are. Uh, and uh, I I have a pretty good grasp on things. Um, but. Uh, yeah, like I said, that my like a me being an atheist doesn't really factor into the channel. But my love for my Nintendo Switch and me being a Brit are the two biggest factors into this. Because again, my whole like during my whole review of ukulele, I was praising about how it felt nice to finally, you know, get some like British culture, like the uh, some slang and the um, banter, which is the Brit, which is Britain's signature like form of comedy banter is like it's basically what's kept the UK together for as long as it's been together um, and uh, yeah those two factors factor in more to the channel than uh, um, you know than me being an atheist and one last thing it I will admit right now it is inspired by the Dreamcast guy um, but instead of Dreamcast, it's um, the, the Nintendo Switch, and instead of Guy, it's Brit. Um, and it, uh, uh, I think this is, I don't know if anybody will be angry. Well, obviously, there's going to be somebody who's like, oh, you're just trying to rip him off, but it's just like, no, you can, if you actually watch my channel. Well, it's a gaming channel, but there's going to be a lot of crossover. It's like, I don't usually do reviews. I, if there's a game that I really like, and I was like, I re and I want to go, I really like this game, go get it. You know, I'll do that, but um, I think uh, Dreamcast Guy mostly does, like, gaming news, which I don't usually do, because 
Um, there's people who do it better than I do can and get the information faster than I can because I do, I'm not on Twitter a lot of the time. I I do have a Twitter account, but I don't use it a lot. Um, and it, uh, um, you know that like Spawncast, um, not Spawncast, then um, Spawn Wave. Um, he like goes up if you want the gaming news. Subscribe to Spawnwave. He uh, does it quite well. Review Tech USA um, is also quite good. Um, who who else? Um, I can't think of anything else right now. But I I just want this to be a quick video. So um, yeah, that's why. Also, um, I've got most of my videos pre-recorded. I just got to do Monday and Thursday and Sunday's videos. Which um, I'll probably get started on Sunday's videos because I've got one for Monday pre-recorded, um, so I can upload that Monday if I have to. But I'll, I'll at least get started on um, Sunday Pixel Art Sunday, yes, um, because it, I've been, it's been a while since I've done one, and I really want to get back into it. But I've just not really had any good ideas for anything that I could do a Pixel Art Sunday for. So I'll probably like ask my friends, just like, "Hey, give me some ideas for Pixel Art Sunday." Um, and uh, but I know the first one is is a channel logo redesign. Now I'm not going to go too in depth into it right now. But while I do like my current channel logo, I do not like every part of it. More let's more specifically the um, autism speaks logo with the cross through it. Now I do still hate autism speaks with all of my uh, being but I don't want it to show that they bother me so much that um, I, that I can't help but like rag on them so there's gonna be something different there get um, excited for that but yeah I've got an idea for what I want in my channel design so, um, yeah, get ready for that on the 8th. I'll see you guys in the, in the next video. Even though I'm not supposed to be uploading videos right now. And I've, I'm uploading two today. There's this one. And then there's the Nintendo Direct. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.